Amen. But uh, that's what we often do. Amen. That's what people do. That's what we often do. Amen. When we talk about being committed, I, I need to get my life right. Yeah. Amen. When we get our life right in the church. Amen. The church is not full of people who have their life right. The church should be full of people who are trying to get their life right. Amen. Amen. It's a complete process until we die because we will never arrive. Amen. So we have not arrived and we will never arrive. Uh -huh. And so we are constantly trying to get our life right. Amen. The hospital is not for those who are well. The hospital is for those who are sick. And we are sin sick. And the church is a hospital where we are being healed from the sickness of sin. Amen. Amen. And yet God still uses. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, uh, verse 33, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Amen. And of course, I preached from this earlier this year as well. But that word first means prominent and not an ordinal number. Amen. Because oftentimes we try to go one, two, three. Uh, in reference to this verse, but actually it means that God should be prominent Amen. in every area of our life. Amen. Oh, yes. Amen. You know, that's commercial, it's redundant, you hear it all the time. What would Jesus do? Yeah. But it's a very important question. What would Jesus do with handling our money? What would Jesus do when we talk about handling our time? What would Jesus do when we talk about how we deal with people? Amen. Now, that's a very important question because that makes God more prominent in our life. Amen. Amen. 